Hello and welcome back to chapter 7, lecture number 33. So we added a texture on the roof and what I'd like to do now is um, focusing on this area a bit more. So we have this ugly stretched unmapped uh, face. So let's go to the material and click new one and name this planks. And we have to apply a texture, image texture, and I want to have all planks on it. There we go. We need to UV unmap it. So first selecting it. And there we go. You probably think we're not going to see it, but now I have something in mind to make a nice... Uh, um, image from above. Uh, let's uh, scale this a bit more. I want to show you what kind of texture we're using. We're using old planks 02 to rotate it a bit more and scale it and assign it on planks. Yes, and can be big planks, no problems with that. So let's do some uh, texture editing. And we want to have the roughness and non-colored data. And putting it in roughness, and we duplicate it, add a vector normal map, and putting the color into the color. And we want to select who oh, the normal map, non-color, and putting this into the normal. Just perfect. So a quick few render it. So I want to lower the specularity to 0 0.02. All right, so this will be good. Um, we will extend these planks later. Um, but now I also want to focus on this area. And that one as well. Just try to select as many as you can. It is environment modeling, but sometimes you have to do some uh, interiors as well. Very small. Oh, that's the other tower. That's three. I want to have that one as well. Come on. Great. So assign this to the planks when we have the material selected. Planks, non color, non color. Looks like, ah, it's just updated. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't. Don't do that. Shift D and make it smaller. That's what I was uh, trying to do. And press P, selection, then you select it. And you can just delete the gray roof. And then you have the planks right there. Control L and go to UV editing. And what I want to do is you, you project from view and scale this. So let's find out what works the best uh, let's say I want horizontal planks yes that's what I try to do and we're going to add uh, wooden bars on it later but this is just sort of a starting point okay so the other thing what I like to do is go to solid view and or rendered. I want to make these slates and put these all over the place. We have done that before. Add mesh cube and just drag this to you. Oh, that's way too much. And make it smaller. And it's a sort of rectangle shaped. And that will be good. Control B. Zoom in a little bit more. You don't want, yeah, that's good. I want a very small slate. This is a nice slate. And we want to apply the gray roof as a material. There it is. And select one of the face. Control L, U, project from view. Then you want to have the slates in front of you. Slate. 
diffuse and you just pick a random one these are very small okay and let's drag this to the roof what I'd like to do is hide this uh, square tower press H solid right, and then I just hide my s oh there it is <laughs> either where is my slate it's just remove because I want to go to the side I press 5 for the uh, orthographic mode and we rotate this a little bit we probably meant to make this smaller way smaller so that's quite hard because we won't really see the transition huh. do we have to do something with lighting Uh, it's almost not visible at all okay okay what to do about this we cannot go to the um, 3d workbench sometimes you just have a challenge so as long we can put these like on the roof we're set so that's adding these right there go to the front and then just move just a little bit to G Y G Z. We have to pick a nice starting position, and we can just duplicate it. G Z, G Y. Um, yeah, the roof ones uh, slates are bigger, so the other ones are smaller. G X, G Y, G Z, and there we go. So this will take some time. This is not something you will finish in a couple of minutes. So uh, each time you make one, you select a different slate. That's a bit how this works. So you duplicate it, you drag this down, press G Y, bring this back on top, and you move this to the left, and just add a random shape and G Y. Do this with a lot of care, because. I mean, this is a very important part of the build. I mean, all the parts are important, but this one may be a bit extra. Okay, so uh, that one is here on the corner. So, Shift D, you can try um, like as many things as you can, as long as it is just touching the roof. You won't, you don't want to let it float. And a different texture. I like this these kind of parts, it's just very relaxing to do. So we duplicate this and just move this. This is sort of my workflow of adding slates. Like and rotate it a bit more. Okay. So you can continue doing this. We need a lot of these and we need to just then duplicate it to the other part or other side. So uh, good luck and see you in a second or two seconds. All right, I will pause the video. All right, I completed these, uh, this side of the roofing and it adds a very nice detail when you have all sort of separated uh, roof tiles. So of course we need to have these ones also on the other side. So my question to you, because um, you learned this already in chapter uh, 5 with the farmhouse, copy these and rotate them so you can stick them on the other side and try to match it with the other roof tiles. If that's too hard you have to do it one by one but um, it's it's a sort of exercise because it's important you try to try this yourself. So we'll pause the video and good luck. I think that will work right. Back in a second. And welcome back. So I have now roof slates on the other side as well. I simply copied all of them and then I shift G duplicated them and I rotated it and applied it on the other side. Um, so yeah, I hope this works out for you. Uh, and we now have a very nice border, or it's not a border. Um, um, yeah, how do you call this? <laughs> we have roof tiles on the sides and it looks uh, what I expected. So to add some randomness on this roof is, or a curvy, because now it's very straight and that's not realistic you go to proportional editing and you pushing this a little bit down 
we have this small roof uh, frame on the other side so that looks a little bit weird and there as well small details but it makes sense okay so I also want to do something on these towers but that's for the next lecture I want to scale these and put them on all these sides but we're out of time so see you in the next lecture bye bye